Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading and today we have your own reading and yes, this is a love reading. We have the Five of Hearts right away and uh, this is already painting uh, the picture here. Let's get one more Oracle card painting a picture, uh, you know, uh, and kind of writing a story, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. This was came out okay. So let's see. We have said uh, Capricorn. We have the two of feathers to start the reading, right? And so we have the oracle spread here. So let's talk about that. The two of feathers. This is decisions and directions, right? And this is the two of swords, really, right? And this chick, uh, whoever wrote this deck, her 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 cup is half full, right? She's very positive uh, because it's kind of a kindred, uh, a kind of deck. It is. Uh, and so, you know, this is about decisions and directions. Somebody here is making a decision and they feel like they are between worlds and it's about their direction in life. Between worlds, we see the stork, uh, the pelican rather. And, you know, part of him is over here in, uh, in this kind of foggier, you know, and then he's walking into the sunlight. Somebody is making a decision to walk into a happier situation, I believe. And we have the higher power card the higher power card uh capricorn is this lady she has her pineal gland gleaming here her third eye in the front and so it talks about somebody who has made a pact with spirit like i'm going with whatever you whatever i feel whatever i really believe truly in my heart intuitively and i've i've awakened and i'm in the spiritual energy where i believe capricorn is a soulmate and this is why i gotta kind of like <clears throat> Go off to be with Capricorn. I feel like that's what this is about. And we have the yin card. This is about like, well, I'll take it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm open to receive. That's really what that means. And uh, let's see what they have to say about the yin card. The feminine principle of receptivity, letting someone else make the first move. Wow. Gathering, yeah, like receiving, right? Gathering information and taking in cues. The art of conscious allowing. Okay, and that's what the higher power, this is conscious allowing. Somebody's letting <clears throat> their intuition guide them, right? And direct them to your arms, Capricorn, or to your bed or somewhere like that, right? Yeah, maybe it's to your, uh, to your job, right? To take you to lunch. <laughs> we also have the king of, <clears throat> the king of uh, spades and the king of clubs, rather. This could be the king of wands. It could be. Uh, and this king of diamonds over here could be you, the king of pentacles, doesn't necessarily have to be like that, but this king of clubs, it's reversed. And so, you know, that's supposed to be a good husband, right? In the upright, it can talk about somebody who's a good husband, but it's reversed. And I feel like somebody is between worlds because maybe they want to get out of their marriage for some could be, uh, and that's what this decision, this spiritual or this either this intuitive guide right spirit is guiding this person maybe they have to be a bad husband or leave some type of a marriage here maybe they have been one uh not sure here but <clears throat> we also have the five of hearts and that five of hearts talks about can talk about a marriage proposal i believe that is the church window right and a lot of people get married in church I don't know if they do anymore. I'm not really into the uh, organized religion so much anymore, although I kind of grew up uh, in the Lutheran church. I, I really like the Lutheran church at, at the bottom. Like, you know, I, I don't want, I don't like big religion. Like, what do you call it? These people that get up, make a million dollars and go, praise the Lord. And they go on stage and these tours. Oh, shut up. Uh <laughs> Uh, because, you know, but anyway, long story short, Capricorn, uh, the church is representing, uh, the church window. It's representing a deep love for somebody. I believe, let's see what they have to say to dream of being in a church signifies a wedding or marriage. Okay. So maybe you're going to marry them, right? Maybe they're going to get a divorce because the King of clubs here is in the reverse and he's supposed to be a good husband, Jesus Christ on the cross. But it's in the reverse, so he can't be a good husband, uh, Capricorn, right? 
Maybe this person has cheated and now they want out of their marriage and they want to come be with you. That's how it looks in this reading. I mean, just to be, you know, bam, bam, right? We have the king of diamonds here and he is probably you. Could be somebody with a lot of money. Could be somebody who has a really bad temper. All right. So uh, don't let me mess with you too much, Capricorn. Stand up to power and light. Just teasing. <laughs> and so we have the wedding card here. It was, it was in the reverse, but actually the whole deck was in the reverse, right? The way I grabbed it. But uh, this is the wedding. They want to marry you here because this predicts a marriage here. The church window. This somebody wants to marry you here, Cap Capricorn. It's not me. All right. No, it's not. So, you know, you could be saying you're projecting. <laughs> and the bottom of the deck here, Capricorn, is the Ace of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords. Here's the wimpy guy. He's fighting his fears. That's what somebody's doing here. They're fighting their fears. The, the between worlds, maybe they feel lonely, right? Because here he is halfway, the pelican. Is he a pelican? Uh, I feel like he is, right? Yeah, he's a pelican. Let's see. Uh, let's see what they have to say about that. Oh, I oh, transitions, not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. That's what this is. This person's not out of their marriage or their union, but they want, they're gonna, and they're gonna, and they're gonna come and, uh, they're gonna, right. And, uh, they want to marry you. I feel like they do. Can I come to the wedding Capricorn? They got these cute little kids here. Yeah, they do. Let's see what else we have. And so, you know, bottom of the deck. Let's see what else is at the bottom of the deck for Capricorn. Ten of Wands reversed with the, with the Nine of Cups. They want to drop a burden here because you're their wish. And it's showing up here with this higher power and the yin. They want to receive this. It's a conscious receiving. In other words, their intuition is telling them. That's why they have the higher power card here, or this is your energy. This is what is unclear here in the reading guys, right? Mm -hmm. But let's get into the reading right now and let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. Please don't live or die by these after all that. Right. But, uh, could really resonate, uh, at the same time. I, it's kind of always, I have to say that, right. Uh, for sensitive hearts, especially, but, um, <clears throat> Yeah, let's see what else we have. I forgot what I was going to say for, for Capricorn. Let's see what we have. And right here, we have the Two of Swords reversed. We start the reading over here with the Two of Swords, Decisions and Direction. Uh, the Oracle spread. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have here. This usually means somebody already made up their mind. They could have been at a stalemate about this. They could have. And they have the Knight of Swords. This energy here could be your person's whoever's coming here and trusting their higher power and open to receive this and wanting to get married, in my opinion, here is, and if it's not marriage, if you don't want marriage, then they'll, they'll be fine with, well, okay, we'll have a, we'll just be exclusive, right? But he's cutting this man out the other night. Yeah, he is. Let's see what else we have. And we have the queen of wands. And over here is the King of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. These two people, they're going somewhere together. They've already decided or they are, they've decided they're going together, but not exactly sure where maybe because they're holding up the globe. They're happy. They're standing out looking at the ocean here. And uh, he has his hand on her elbow. Like we're going to do this together, honey. And the tower here is in the past. The Hermit. Let's see what else? We have a card flipping here. And here it is. We have the two of pentacles here reversed and how they are affecting other people, how you are affecting somebody else. Capricorn, this just fell out of my hand. Ace of cups. See, they want a brand new beginning in love with you. This is a trip reading because, uh, for some, this has been happening, but for some, this person's been on the fence for a while because uh, in many cases, this person has somebody else, but <clears throat> wherever they're at Capricorn, they're like, let me out. Yeah, please let me out. Let me out of this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I haven't really seen their cards, but some of these cards are theirs. Yeah. These Oracle cards. Definitely. Let's see what else we have here. They are fighting their fears, 
to drop a burden, Ten of Wands reverse, to have the Ace of Cups with you. Because, Ace of Wands, because you are their wish, Nine of Cups. You're their passionate wish. Right? Not just their wish, kind of. And uh, let's see what else we have in your outcome. In your outcome. It is the Three of Swords. You guys are going to bandage this up. Yeah. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody here took their blindfolds off. They're cutting another situation out. They are. And here they are walking away with a pentacle. Like, that's okay. I don't have to have the whole bush here. This, this could be implying somebody's not being greedy as they walk away from a situation. And I don't, maybe this is you doing this. The reading could be switched. You're the one who is open and you're trusting your intuition. You could be trusting your intuition that this person will do this with you possibly, right? That they'll wake up and, or that they have awakened and that they are coming and that they are in transitions between worlds here is, you know, not yet out of a situation, but not yet in another one, right? So let's see what we have for, excuse me, for your person, 10 of cups here, queen of wands. This is what you want. You want, this is your happily ever after. And coming into play is the Two of Wands, the Four of Cups. Yeah, this person's turning somebody down here, this Four of Cups. This is not you, especially this is coming into play. They're turning somebody down here so they can move forward with you. They've already chosen you. Wow, I love how this person is like, Standing up. <clears throat> this is what people need to do against these people who are in power. There's way too many of us. <clears throat> Every day they take away another right of ours. Go see my website. Today I'm going to update it. Yeah, I am. Powerandlighttarot.com So let's see. The tower card, Sagittarius, uh, Capricorn, sorry, is showing up with the Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. They already made this decision here. I feel like in the past they were a little confused because they have to dismantle something. Maybe that's you. Maybe you were confused if they were going to do that. But I feel like this is all about a choice. Yeah, about their direction to you. <clears throat> we have the Hermit. And the World card. This is coming soon. They're going to close out a cycle. You are their choice. They're loyal. They want to be loyal to you and they want a new beginning. There's the snake. They know very intuitively because the hermit is, you know, uh, he's very spiritual energy. They have the higher power card here and the yin. They're both spiritual energies here. And the two of pentacles, and that could be you, but for me, this is about... <clears throat> I feel like you could be with them because they were married, but I feel like they're, I feel like they're, they're going to walk away from somebody to marry you because we have the church window and we have this wedding card here. Dun, 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 Okay. Let's get back to this here. Where are these cards here? Did I forget to put them down? Mm-hmm. They have the two of pentacles reversed and this, or you do. This is how <clears throat> other people are affecting you. They already made up their mind because this two of pentacles was going back and forth in the upright. It's reversed. The two of swords is reversed. We can see the reading here with the Oracle cards. We can. And so the ace of cups, a Capricorn is how you affect them. They're so in love with you. They want a new beginning with you. And they want to hand you their heart. Right? I'm coming with my heart in my hand. Look at that. And that's what that is. The page of swords is going to be your hopes and fears. You could be hoping that this person has figured, figured things out. And they're not still thinking about it. Maybe. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles. You could be hoping here that, yeah, that they're like, that they're in, they're in their thoughts. Or... <clears throat> 
You could be hoping they're coming and that they're going to contact you possibly. These people are, are returning to this man here. Why he stands there with the sword kind of thinking. They're walking toward him like they're returning. You're hoping they're going to return. So you could have a new star. You could be hoping they're going to contact you right here. Oh, there's going to be a contact for sure. We have the three of swords in the outcome. Let's see what that has to say. And the justice card. Yeah, this person... This could be them. This is what you want, though. You want to heal your heart, right? The bandages on the heart, the bleeding heart, the swords are out. And you want a balanced union with them. Maybe you want something, you want a marriage with them. The justice card could be a contract, a marriage contract. You might want something very legit. For me, the justice card, it's supposed to be about legitimacy, right? Except, you know, there's no... There's none of that left in, in, uh, at least here in, in the United States. There's none. It's complete third world corruption. It is. And don't say, well, they, we have the constitution because they're trying to destroy that. Yeah, they have already said that. The New York Times said that. So let's get back here. Let's get back to this. In the outcome, Capricorn, Queen of Cups. And so this is showing up in your outcome or your hopes and fears, but I feel like it has to do with this here. You're hoping the page of swords that you're going to heal the situation. You're going to have balance with them. Possible harmony here, of course. This is a, a couple who, you know, they're getting married. You, you should have harmony on your wedding day, but they're very happy here. This couple, both of them. And he's very, he's, you can tell he has a sweet, very kind of, look on his face like, you know, I hope we can build a life together. You could also be hoping this person will divorce. You could for some. Because it's here with this three of swords. There could have been three people here. And that's what this oracle reading is saying. They're either walking away from a person or a situation. Yeah, but we're going to go to the extended and find out we are. We're going to finish this spread here, Capricorn, uh, with the conjure. Yeah, I want to see what that has to say here. <clears throat> and this is their spread typically. This could be saying right here, this person is bowing out of a relationship or possibly a marriage, king of, king of uh, wands or the king of clubs reversed, because he's supposed to be a good husband in the upright. The five of hearts foretells of an early marriage or something like that. This person wants to bow out of whatever they're in. That's why the between the worlds cards is here to be with you this is you in this in this reading the king of diamonds or the king of pentacles we're going to finish that spread and we're going to see how they feel what's unknown about this person uh i feel like we're going to find out everything there is to know and we're going to have a a spread with the dynamic between you both just like this thank you so much they're all super affordable i have the link below and please remember to like share and subscribe